Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Uncharted. This is your host, Leading Man. And I'm the Akari Warrior. Today we've got the Customs House. Continuing our custom of LP. Fucking just can't say anything because it's so bad. You're jealous. Not, not particularly. Anyway, uh, the treasure there actually could have been grabbed last level. Doesn't really matter. The transition thing here is sort of arbitrary. But uh, it'll count as the first treasure of the level. Screw it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I approve. It, ha it happened after the little chapter thing flashed on there, so it counts. And so no one can deny it. These must be all the old ship manifests. Oh. Still seem to be in good shape. <sighs> hey, check this out. This looks right. The Esperanza sailed from Cayo, Peru, carrying 800 bars of gold, 1,200 silver emeralds, golden masks, ornaments. Whoa, reading 16th century Spanish? Not just a grave robber after all, huh? Right here. Gold statue. Weight, 20 arrobas. That's over 500 pounds. That's gotta be it. Wow. There you are. That thing kinda gives me the creeps. Huh. That's the last entry. That somebody special? What? Oh. Uh, yeah. Guess you could say that. Huh. I had you pegged as more of a woman in every port kind of guy. <laughs> Don't I wish. No, this was, uh, this was Francis Drake's ring. I, you know, kind of inherited it. Sic parvis magna? Greatness from small beginnings. It was his motto. Check out the date. 29th of January, 1596. One day after he supposedly died. Wait, what are these numbers right here? Coordinates. Right off the coast of Panama. Oh, so that's how you found the coffin. Yeah, that's right. See, Drake left this as a clue to pinpoint the exact burial site. For someone clever enough to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, nice try. But we're still going for that boat. Yeah, I'm afraid this is as close as we're getting to El Dorado. That ring has a lot of shit written on it. Yeah, it's got more shit written on it than the one ring. Yeah, it does, actually. I also like that candle set, so that's why I slowed down for no particular reason. Sherry! That, I knew that guy was up there. No! Oh! I love how they just randomly decide to shove a shotgun guy right there. Yeah. Not, not cool. Also, he's not disturbing those birds at all. <laughs> yeah, those are the calmest pros I've ever seen. Excuse me, we gotta have a gunfight around these birds. <laughs> no animals were harmed in the making of this video game. So Elena will continue to have, uh, I guess she sort of helps out with pot, pot shots every now and then. Right now she's checking out the floor. But uh, she's not really very useful and you can't really count on her to do anything. Yeah, it looks like occasionally she'll be uh, useful for, you know, drawing enemy fire away from you. Yeah, really that's sort of the best thing you can hope for, is that they focus on her for no truly apparent reason, since Whoa. she's doing nothing. But uh, you can sort of use her as a decoy, and then they'll go after her, leaving you alone for a few seconds, and she never fucking dies. So... Well, at least you don't have to babysit. Yes, that's nice. It is an escort mission in which you don't escort or give a shit about the other character. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a let's hang out mission. <laughs> oh lord. The one thing I do like is how the sound kicks out when, uh, whenever you're too close to a grenade being launched. Yes. Unfortunately, he's in, in just an awful position. Just terrible. This game seems to be really good at that. <laughs> oh yeah, they really, really, really like to shove people into spots that... Too many people into spots that you can't handle. 
unfortunately, Elena is grenade proof. Yes, and also she seems to have at least hit him once, so he only went down pretty fast. Invincible and not altogether useless. Yes, not altogether, but still mostly. I qualified. <laughs> <laughs> Another treasure up here. Not really a treasure. More, more like a souvenir. Yeah, more like shit you could buy or things someone just left around and the belt corroded. Uh, Sir Francis Drake. Uh, oh, hey, what's going on? He's <laughs> just gonna take a nap <laughs> against that wall for a few seconds. Kind of kissed the wall there. That was pretty <laughs> awesome. I love ragdoll physics. And she loves the wall. Oh. I don't see any boat, Nate. Looks like we missed our chance. No, there it is. On the other side of the harbor. Come on. Hey, you know what? Why don't I just wait here and you can, uh, swing around and come back and pick me up? <laughs> Okay, what are you up to? Nothing. I just want to, you know, stay here and get some more footage. I'll be safe. All right, fine. But promise me you'll stay put. Whatever that means. All right, we're back. More, uh, locks. And the door stayed on, so you can be happy. I am happy. Good. Good. You can tell how happy I am. Press X to not die! Press X a lot. Because he's got to pull himself up. And not drop his Uzi. <laughs> and then he puts it away. Because he's got <laughs> priorities. I like how he made Elena drop- oh, Fuck you! Damn. Yeah, that is not cool. I left that in just because of how dick that was. Yeah, that was pretty goofy. Screw you, hippie. <laughs> I like how I immediately went after him right after reloading. It's like, that guy dies now. Well, yeah. I mean, otherwise <laughs> he probably would've killed you again. Don't bring your relentless logic into this. It was passion. Passion made me murder that man. Okay. Whatever you say, crazy man. <laughs> Pretty certain passion drops it down to murder too, so I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mama told me never argue with the murdering man. I hate this so much. That is not cool. Yeah, they really should have, I don't know, put a sniper pistol there or something. Even if it wasn't a sniper pistol, it's just one of those things where, like, the first time I got up to that, I had no idea what to do because the lock blends in way too well. Yeah. It's like, oh, there's a... Okay, hold L2. It's just showing me a door. <laughs> this now? I mean, that's not one of Eddie's. Alright, transition. Sorry. That's what I get <laughs> for recording, oh. recording these into uh, individual little chunks. This actual video will take us through chapters 10 through 12, I believe, oh, you got and it. probably we'll do 13, the next one, because 13 is just huge. Uh, Q-E-G. F you, shotgun guy. So this is a new <laughs> weapon. Oh, yes. We have a sniper rifle. It's pretty damn useful, even though people can peg me from that far away with an AK-47 and almost kill me. Which is something I could never do if God was helping me. <laughs> <laughs> sniper and rifle is really nice here. It's hidden behind the stairwell, and I always make... Like, I've tried assaulting various ways. This is just, when it comes down to it, the best. Um, that shotgun guy, actually, I lied. He was a 
fucking Smith and Wesson guy or whatever this is. <laughs> um, regardless, it's still a basically kill you with two shots gun, so whatever. Distinction's pretty minimal. Um, but he'll drop it here, and it, you know, is really useful in this section. Yeah, you finally get some decent firepower. Too bad they don't have any actual ammo for it. Well, we've got the sniper rifle, and we're actually going to see another weapon here in a few seconds, which is also pretty damn good. Um, we're getting into the weapons don't suck territory. Now it's about damn time! Yeah, the problem is they're going to make the enemies suck in retaliation in a few seconds. Yeah. So, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, you don't want to feel useless? Well, congratulations, you're not useless. There you go, but these guys are impossible. <laughs> Not really impossible, but the difficulty just scales beyond all belief. Alright, so back to sniper pistol. Sniper rifle is empty, so we grab our latest weapon, which is over here. That's the M4. This thing is not bad. It's an AK-47 if an AK-47 did, you know, what you would want it to do in the first place. <laughs> right. And if I could shoot it, but still. Holy shit, he went down. Yeah, and I also overcompensated. I was like, oh, we went down too fast. Oh, oh well, whatever. But regardless, we've got this thing, and this thing is all that matters. Nice scenery. Yeah, it's a really nice pile of rocks. The ceiling. <laughs> Rubble. So once the room's cleared, guys start falling out of that window over there. <laughs> they start coming out one by one. They are literally coming out of the woodwork. Because when I want to kill guys with a turret, I want to do it individually. Yes. I don't want to lay down suppressing fire. And That's I not what a turret is for. I also definitely want a giant pile of rock in 30% of my vision. I love how... Look, okay. This is... No. Nothing. You would think that if you're shooting all over here, you try to sneak around on the other side. Nope. He just stands there and throws a grenade. And what does that accomplish? <laughs> just about <dead>. nothing. <laughs> we get a cartoon cloud. <laughs> That's about it. Eventually got fed up. His bum rushed him. Oh, but that was that was so interesting. Look at that. That only cost like what five bullets? That was fantastic. Yeah, you didn't have to expend half your clip to kill one man. It was wonderful. It's almost like it fulfills the function of an assault rifle. <laughs> so the uh, the unfortunate factor is that this gun, um, there's not another one for a while. So we should probably get rid of it for something else eventually here. Eventually, yeah, I would keep that until until all the ammo is expended. Yeah, I've it. got I've got 15 more, so it's it's at the point where it's still somewhat useful. I mean, 30 bullets is pretty good, um, so we're not going to get rid of it. But it is, I mean, it's not going to last much longer. I think that may just be about all the ammo collection for this room. So that circular shape really doesn't help with navigation. Like, both stairwells look pretty much identical. Yeah, but the rubble is closer to one stairwell than the other. Oh, that's right. Also, there's a turret on this side. That's and one of these. The right because triangle is so fun. Alright, so we're out of this section. A little bit more exploring to do before I think we'll hit a cutscene here in a few seconds. Yep, here we go. Get this all on the boat now. Hey! On, let's go, let's go! How did you get here? You really need to see this. Now is really not the best time. No, Nate. What are you doing? You really need to watch this. Just... What? Don't look at the stuff on the dock. And... Hello. He's alive. Huh. I don't know, Nate. I mean... 
How much do you trust this guy? It's not exactly like they're holding them at gunpoint. I, I know. Yeah, it seems weird. But no. Sully's a lot of things, but he's not a backstabber. Which way were they headed? Uh, northish. Yeah, towards the mountains. Okay, it's gotta be the monastery. Let's go. Uh, what if it turns out he's working with them? We either rescue him, or we beat the crap out of him. Hell, I might just beat the crap out of him anyway. So you're ready to go to the monastery? Oh yeah, let's oh. go to the monastery. Oh, fuck you. Oh. Guy pops out. He's over here. By the way, I think your horn guy friend is back. <laughs> And another friggin' mortar guy. Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Thought I was gonna make it through this video without doing that. Time to bring the counter back. Don't reference the counter, it'll encourage me to do it more. <laughs> <laughs> Plus I don't want to make that annoying error noise anymore, so... No, no naming the counter. <laughs> All right. So these guys are pretty easy to clear up. There's only a few here, and there is a treasure over here to the right hand side. And I got stuck on the stairs. Good job. Also, I'm pretty certain that's not a treasure. Like, I th he found one of those in the hands of a dead Nazi, and it was just like, whatever. Here well, we that find one, was, one. That one was story based. This one is actually that one was this one's hidden. We found a side. belt buckle and a coin we already have. That's not good enough. Well, uh, what can I say? This this uh, section is lacking in in fun treasure stuff. <laughs> How does something like this happen? See those scorch marks? Uh-huh. Somebody packed this place with enough gunpowder to blow it wide open. Ooh. Watch where you step. Some of these boards are really falling. Lena, uh, I can't hold on. Give me your other hand. You've got to let it go. Damn it! Well, that was Harry. Let's just keep walking like nothing happened. All right. All right. Are I we in the monastery yet? No, we're not even close to the monastery. But we are oh. close to a treasure. I know you like treasure. Oh, uh, I love treasure. I especially love making fun of treasure. Well, it's not on that side. It's somewhere over here. At least this one's sort of a tr treasure. You chose wisely. <laughs> King of kings wouldn't use a cup like this. He's a carpenter. <laughs> ah, I love it. I like how I like how how Uncharted actually combined two Indiana Jones references in one spot. Three, if you count the chalice. How? The bridge oh. collapsing was from uh temp was from Temple at the end of Temple of Doom. Okay. And the uh, the give me your hand the the dropping thing was from uh, Last Crusade, and so was the chalice. Actually. Okay, I'm I'm willing to go with all three of these are coincidental. Okay, this one I I, I purposely held on to because that is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't even know what a Cody Mundi is. Uh, I think it's a raccoon from like animal type animal from South America. But look at that thing! That is Barney on wheels. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Hey, they had a lot of gold and they had a lot of kids. Okay, you have problems with the jaguar, but you have no problems with Dino the dinosaur on wheels. 
I have seen jaguars before, but I have no idea what a. <laughs> I've never seen a Cody Mundi before. You know, this is this is the first time you've ever like not made fun of something just because you have no knowledge about it. I'm sorry. I'll try to do better. <laughs> it's so culturally insensitive. Yeah, it's really easy. I'm still taking notes from you. It's all right. So this section is sort of a quick little battle with way too many pirates and way too small of an area. Before we hop on that jet ski over there. Oh God! Not another jet ski section. <laughs> oh yes, yes, another jet ski session. This river ought to take us right up to the monastery. And it's worse. Much worse. In ways you probably cannot comprehend yet. Oh boy. What's this river called? Schitt's Creek? Because we don't have a paddle. I hope I add like a fucking drum sound there. <laughs> Alright, so it's a river, right? Easy easy enough to understand. That means there are rapids and a current, unlike, say, the little lake area. Which means that if we stop moving, uh, we will start going backwards. Since we're constantly heading up river. As if, as if the last jet ski section wasn't long enough. Yeah, and if they didn't have to make it comp more complicated. So, since we're, all, we're moving down river, the barrels are also now moving down river and sort of come at us. Which is fantastic. Also, you'll notice we're missing something very important. The grenade launcher. Yes, we don't have the grenade launcher. So since that thing's gone, we now have at least an infinite ammo handgun. <laughs> that is that is of little consolation. Yeah, serious. So they, they managed to make this whole section much more difficult and much, much more annoying. Like, for example, right here, where now I'm, I'm so turned around, I have to go backwards and then back up two rapids. Yeah, it's just not cool. Yeah, it's... This, this should be a lot more exciting than it is. Um, yeah, it's excessively... It, it's, again, it's not super hard. I mean, some parts of it are kind of hard, where there's uh, lots of pirates, and you sort of... The first time you do it, you'll probably die, period. Um... But it, it's not, it's just annoying. Like, the fact that I have to stop every few seconds to shoot one of these, not cool. We call that tedious. Yes, yes, this is tedious. And so, like, I tried uh, juggling between just firing blind, because she seemed to have pretty good aim there at the beginning, and now she's just doing terrible. So I'm sort of juggling between aiming and not aiming. I don't know, it just gets frustrating. And I mean, at least the at least the thing has infinite bullets, but it's still a pretty terrible gun. Well, it is the first gun in the game, so it's not too surprising that it sucks. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm o I'm okay with all of that. It's just they just brought my hopes up, giving me a freaking grenade launcher earlier, and now I've got this piece of s. Well, honestly, the grenade launcher streamlined things too. It made it a lot less tedious. Less tedious and just overall less annoying and, and almost on the verge of fun. <laughs> yeah. Which, which they seem to have forgotten here. Yeah, we call that the Michael Bay element, where <laughs> things are more fun because shit blows up. Oh, that that's good. So this is essentially a Michael Bay sequel in which that things are less good afterwards. It's like Transformers 2. Yeah, it sounds about right. More pointless <laughs> shit and not enough fun explosions. Still still stuff is blowing up, but they forgot what made one good in the first place. Yeah. And it wasn't even that great. Fortunately, that doesn't <laughs> apply to this series as a whole. Just <laughs> just these jet ski sections. Yes, of course not. This one, I'm not a fan of. It's just double, triple rapids a lot of power and you have to be going pretty much straight otherwise everything just wigs out. I mean I like the barrel section there with the guy on the bridge and you shoot him and he flies off. That's kind of cool looking I guess that we saw a few seconds ago but I don't know. This part's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean it'd be it would be nice though if they just freaking uh I don't know. I mean I understand what they were going for like 
oh, it's a jet ski up the rapids, but you know what would be more interesting and more exciting to watch? Not jet, jet skiing up the rapids? Or jet ski down the rapids. How about jet ski up the rapids with a mortar guy? Grenade launcher guy? With a grenade launcher guy. <laughs> I almost did it again, effing grenade launcher guy. <laughs> yeah, so he's all the way back there. He'll even peck you down that hill. Thankfully, he can't sort of catch you. If you, if you speed right on through, you're pretty much fine. It's just right when you get up here, he has a good shot to just blow you up immediately, which is not, not very cool. It is very lame. Oh, God. Thank you, Rock. You are my rock in salvation. Do you smell the rock is cooking? Alright, so you can see we got an AK-47 guy back there, another guy with a pistol over here. Both of them sort of firing on you at once, and you really, really need to use one of these rocks for cover for this, because guess what, there's another guy right there. Good lord. Well, that's not even the end. I love how they all act like, you know, Wild West stage show guys at, like, a <laughs> amusement park. Yeah. Yeah, see what I mean? It's not even the end. There was another dude right there. Hell, there was a... I, I saw a show at Hershey Park that was awful and involved a seal that was better than this. Not gonna lie. I kind of want to see the seal that's better than this. What do you do? Just a flip? Yeah, all kinds of fun tricks. All right, that's it. We're done. We just have to get to that dock, and it's over. Oh, thank God. Uh, thanks. 